Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome to the video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy New Year's. It ain't New Year's. It's just I ain't make a video since last year. It's 2020. I've been procrastinating so I gotta make videos. Um, Today's video is gonna be um, what's new to the G35. Uh, I'm not sure. I have to check if I even actually did a video about this G35. Actually, I did. I did. Um, but I, I did some things, you know, new wheels, you know, finally lowered the car a little bit. But uh, we'll make a video on that. Uh, so let's get it. What is up you guys? Alright, so finally got to a spot where I can shoot. But uh yeah, been a while. Uh, wearing my favorite do-rag I always wear. But um my G here has been through a lot and I'm gonna really show with you guys what I, what's been done, what the issues I have, what the plans that I have with this car. Um yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so this is my G. Yes, I got RPF ones as my wheels. I hope you guys like it. No, you don't really see a lot of Gs with RPF ones. You always see them on like 350Zs or 370s. G37s, they look good on G37s here and there. But yeah. All right, let's see. Got that single exit. Yeah. All right, so let's start off with the, what I have. So the fronts, these are 18 by nine and a half, special black chrome NK, NKRPF ones. The tires are used, my used tires, don't worry. Sorry about that, but I'm gonna get some tires soon. The Brembo's, you already know, this is a 03G, so they come with the sport package. Um, fake carbon fiber grill. I'm gonna get a real one when I get my new bumper and my new um, hood. I had a lip. But um, here in Texas, Houston, is like the roads are really bad, so my lip was damaged, so I just removed it. Uh, these are known to always get stolen, so I have another one, but since I'm getting a new bumper, I don't care about it. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, these are clear side uh, markers. I really like them. Um, got my windows tinted for 5% tint. The back of these RPF ones are the same as the front. They're square setups. They're uh, 18 by 9.5 in the back. They, they're both plus 15s. The tires on here are 245, 45, 18s. They're pretty nice for me. In the front, I made a mistake with these, but I'm gonna change them. Uh, it is, what is this one? Come on, come on. 225, 45. Uh, I shouldn't. If I'm, I don't really, I like stretch, but I like a meaty stretch. That's why I kind of did this. But next time I won't go 45, I'll stick to 40. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, uh, for, uh, have a Supreme tag. I really wanted the Nismo, but I had this land around in my house. So I just put it on there, but it's gonna change. I'm gonna do like a custom bumper delete, like a crazy aggressive. 
I've never seen it done. I know people people starting to do it on the G's, but never seen what I'm gonna do done on a G. Like on any G, G to the five, G to the seven. So I'm gonna do it. Um, this is the ISR titanium exhaust. This thing sounds amazing. I'm gonna do a video on this. I've been trying to get time to do a video on this. Um, I also have uh, the 370Z ISR Y pipe. I have uh, circuit works test pipes, resonated test pipes. Uh, the thing I don't like about the, those eBay or these cheap brand uh, test pipes is that they make your Y pipe hang low that you have to go to a muffler shop to weld your Y pipe. So I thought that since the 370Z ISR Y pipe were known to have a high ground clearance, I thought that was gonna fix the issue. Apparently that's not the case. I'm gonna have to buy another uh, ISR Y pipe because it's my scraping and I don't even wanna lift it anymore because it's like, what's the point? I'm gonna get a new one and fix that properly when I get my long tube headers. So that's that. Um, I have, um, you probably won't see it, but there is a eBay cold air intake. I had a uh, engine and I needed the money, so I sold it. And I got this because for a cheap price, because I'm gonna get admin intakes and I wanna get like some a custom one by his fabricator, uh, Seaworks Design. He's gonna um, see if he can make me a titanium one or kind of cold air one to the front bumper. Um, what is next? Yes, I am lowered. I forgot to tell you guys. So I am lowered on 350Z e box springs. I think that's how you pronounce them. Uh, e box springs in the front and in the back. The fronts were lowered more, but uh, I got True Heart upper control arms, adjustable control arms. I got some MUSA. Let's see if I can show you guys. Sorry if the screen goes upside down, but those gold lower control arms, those are pretty nice. Uh, I like it. Um, I have a plenum spacer. I'm sorry, can you even see me? All right, yeah, I have a plenum spacer. I have, oh, uh, that's pretty much it. Plenum spacer intake. Yeah, there's really a few boltons. Me, I, I love full boltons, but um, that's not full boltons for me. The plans for this car, um, the plans for this car is I want to go really just get like some different set of cams and just get a tune um, I my main goal before was just try to break 300s with this car and just you know there's only you know, only a few certain group of people can do that you know I has done it I'm trying to say it's not easy to do you spend a lot of money to do it um, but I'm still iffy about it if I should still do it and then maybe do a hundred shot just to you know have fun with um but i don't know right now my other option is this hr swap um once i do hr swap i really want to see if on that one if i can break 350 on that doing i was, i don't mind spending the money to do what i can to do that but um yeah that's one another thing and then maybe run like a nitrous just to you know have fun from time to time and then and then i'm gonna if I do HR swap at the block on this one, I'm gonna build it and put in a 350Z shell and then just boost it, you know, type like build it if it's like that. But yeah, that's that's what I kind of want to do. Um, yeah, so probably gonna just do a few drive arounds. I just came to teach my uh, friend how to drive. I won't like kind of record that because I don't know if he wants to be seen right now in the video, but if he does, I would, you know, put it. But you guys. Let me know if how you you know what you think about my car. Um, you know, do you like the wheels? You know what you guys think. Just let me know. Um, hmm. Right now, the main problems that I've been you know having with this car is that um, oil oil leaks. My this is my I'm on my second transmission. Uh, since it was O3, I had the CDO two or CDO one, whatever that shit is, you know. But uh, I got a CDO nine. Uh, I think it's a CDO A CDO nine. I believe it's a CDO nine. But I got it from a pro drifter, and it's really banged up because he was beating the shit out of it. But it it does what it it does what it can. Fifth gear grinds, fifth and sixth grind. So I have to like granny shift when I'm like on it. 
a lot, so, and I have trouble finding first sometimes. Fifth, I have trouble finding fifth. I have trouble finding first. So it's like you have to play with it sometimes and just be you know, gentle with it sometimes. But other than that, I, I got used to it. I'm gonna get a, either a brand new one or another CDL9 soon. What else? Or after I, my, I fixed the rear main seal, when I put my new clutch, I have a Z1 clutch, stock flywheel. Uh, Z1 clutch is okay, no problems, you know? It's, I mean, if you're really stock like me, cause you only got a few bolts on, you're not really increasing power that much. The clutch is nice. Uh, I do, my clutch, I think you do need to get like a new slave cylinder and also a master cylinder, which is no problem. Um, What's next? What's next? What's next? Yeah, now, so my other oil leak that I'm having is my valve covers. Um, so I wanted to wait and just until I can just change my uh, oil galleries. I don't think they need changing, but I just since my mileage right now, I think it's 149K. I just wanted to like change all the new, I mean, all the OEM parts to newer ones. But honestly, since I'm still I'm pursuing this HR swap, which I'm really thinking of going, I'm just gonna just open it up put cams and put the valve cover and get it tuned so this car is not tuned yet um i know i should have got it tuned it's just i'm a guy who likes to like wait and try to get everything done before you know tune i i really really wanted to be tuned but i have patience so if i do get these cams put on with my valve cover and all this other stuff i'll be tuned your boy admin since i stay here in houston he's real local to here so i'm gonna get tuned by admin i can't wait my first tune ever on any car i ever had so yeah so i'm probably gonna do some exhaust clips for you guys to hear and then uh that, that'll be it for this video it's just a short video just to try and make a vid for uh 2020 you know so you guys can see but you guys let me know what you think um stay tuned for a lot of videos because i got a lot going on for me the strictly vicious group we got a lot going on uh we're gonna probably make a real video to introduce everybody in the group but you guys stay tuned for that